Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of What's Happening with Nora Pros. Today I'm joined by the lovely Jillian. Hi guys, how are you? So it's bachelor season. We're both big fans. Yes, really avid bachelor um, fans. <laughs> I'll be honest, I've never watched it before, but then I saw the preview and he jumped over the fence. Colton! <laughs> oh my god! I'm not even kidding, I was like, I'm watching it. Yes, you were hooked. <laughs> like, like went over the fence, it was just and the best thing. The season are so entertaining. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm hyped. Who's your favorite? I really like, I don't, I think it's Nicole. I kind of like her. Okay. Um, and like the never been kissed girl, or now oh, she has yeah. been kissed. <laughs> I like Cassie. Cassie is cute. That's my Cassie girl. Cassie is cute. That's my girl. So we'll see what people are doing. We're actually going to try to sign them up for The Bachelor today. I took some questions off of the forum. We're going to see if they can answer them. They'll be a good fit. Do you think anyone at Maris could be on The Bachelor? I think we have some potential candidates. <laughs> I think this could be our claim to fame. So I let's see what so. happens. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Start with like your name, age, and then what would your tagline be? You know they always have something yeah. crazy. Ooh, okay. Um, Caitlin Devita, I'm 19, and my tagline would probably be that I'm a math education major. Ooh, love that. A little smarts in there. I know we were talking about. Have you been watching the season? Yes. So Heather was like never been kissed and stuff. Oh so. Gosh, yeah, that was so funny. I think you're starting better than her though. So my name is Salma. I'm 20 years old, and I guess my tagline would be always tired, always stressed. <laughs> always tired, always stressed, and we're going. Name, age, what's your tagline? Uh, I'm Kevin, I'm 22. Tagline? Uh, what's my tagline? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You heard it here, I'm Trippy Kev. Hi, I'm Yana. I'm 19 years old, and my tagline would be, ooh, here for the right reasons. We literally were saying that's all everyone says. I love that. That's actually a question on the application. They're like, are you here to find a husband? So you're here to find a husband. Oh, yeah, definitely. If he's cute, yeah. So I'm Caroline. Um, I'm, I'm 22. I just turned 22. Perfect age. Yes, perfect age. Um, honestly, I, my tagline, I don't really have one off the top of my head, but um, I love... Taylor Swift and I just turned 22 so I feel like that I don't feel like Taylor Swift era yeah Taylor Swift era exactly I like it how would you arrive what's like your plan when you yeah, show up mm -hmm. yeah. are you even coming out of a limo like I would come out of the limo I wouldn't want to do anything too extra I would want to be like kind of low-key but cute I like the one of the girls had they've had a like a bucket of butterflies and they were like you give me butterflies and they're just like fake butterflies i'll do something along the lines of that probably that's my girl cassie i hope she wins it like i love her i mean that girl that faked the accent i feel like she like had a really good move so nice to meet you nice to meet you you got a nice accent <laughs> where are you from um the accent is australian i was hoping that you're kind of a sucker for accents i honestly i would probably fake an accent too i feel like i would like low-key pull up in like a british accent or something can you give us some can you Oh god. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, you know what? Actually, I wouldn't do a British accent. I would probably, I would probably pull up speaking in Arabic because I am Arabic. Yeah. So I would definitely yeah. we'll have to throw that in there. Yeah. So my plan is to like step out of the limo in this really pretty like sparkly dress to catch his eye, <laughs> and then I would also like find a quirk that he likes, like an inside joke or something, and just turn it around that way. Like, Colton, I'm surprised no one like brought out a football. I would have brought out a football. Okay, nice. She's thinking, like, yeah, honestly. Out of the box. I like it, I like it. So first question they always ask the girls, and it was literally on the forum, not lying. What's your biggest fear? Oof, I don't know. It's probably spiders. Uh, snakes, anything with snakes. Oh. So like, I don't even know, like if even just like a baby like reptile or anything like that would just freak me out, yeah. Um, like passing out is like my biggest fear. It's like they knock you out on a date, like <laughs> for the purpose. I know. Honestly, I yeah, it's just like passing out. I have to tell you, I pass out probably like once a week, so I feel like you like would do well as me, like. That's like crazy. <laughs> well, I applaud you because I would freak out. So <laughs> they always ask to go with their worst fears, and then they probably put them on a date with that fear. So if you're scared of heights, they're going to make you jump out of a plane. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, where's fear? I, Nothing. I have... I get, failure, I guess? I mean, like... 
<laughs> they're gonna make you like take a test and like fail it. Yeah, they're gonna make me take a test. I'm gonna fail. It's gonna ruin the whole show. Getting screwed over. Ooh. Oh my god, like you're on it. Like submit this for him. Do you think you'd be the villain on the season? Like, would you stir up drama? No, I would stay away from all the drama. Would you be a villain on the show? No. I think you'd start some drama. I don't. I try to avoid all drama at all costs. That's what they all said. Probably not. I don't know. Dep like, if someone crosses me, yes. Oh. <laughs> Do not cross Yana. I'm not there for the drama, no. Okay. She's here for her husband. That was the tagline. So my housemates and I have actually been talking about this recently. So we think kind of the way to go with this is to be the spectator. Because if you've been watching this season, kind of the people who've been like on the sidelines are making it far. So I think I would spectate the situation and not... Um, a lot of them have been telling or tattletaling on one another. Um, but I wouldn't do that. I think I would just kind of like go through, focus on the end, like if it was working out, and then <laughs> go with that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I was trying to hold in my cough the whole no, time. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, that hurt so bad. Hold on. No, you're good. It wasn't even your answer, it's just like my body is like failing me. I'm probably gonna pass out. <laughs> um, if you have, do you have a bucket list, and what are the top three things on it? Um. Definitely like traveling. I want to go to Italy. Um, They'd probably take you. Yeah. Destination. Yeah, <laughs> that would be cool. Um, I don't know. I saw some people skydiving on this season, but I don't think I would want to do that. Yeah. Maybe if I was on The Bachelor, I'd force myself to. But on my bucket list, yeah. and they might like help you do it. So maybe like be a millionaire. Like I don't know. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'd love to be a millionaire. Like a billionaire, honestly. Um, and then I would like. In terms of like traveling, I think it would be really cool to go to like China or something like that, something like wild and crazy. And then um, other bucket list, bucket list. I don't know. I feel like I, my personality, I wouldn't want to skydive, but I think it'd be fun too. So. I feel like they'd send you to China and like push you out a plane then. Probably, like, yeah, definitely. Do you think you'd get like the first impression, Rose? What's the first impression, Rose? Okay, I think you got it. And then the other one is they want you to describe your perfect mate. Ooh. Yeah. Um, smart, funny, I have to have an intellectual conversation with you, but I also want to, like, be goofy and stupid and silly. Um, yeah, just a good time, but also, like, solid and there. Yeah. What about physically? Tall. <laughs> <laughs> you got the limo and he's a little short, would you get back in the limo? Yeah. <laughs> Turn it around. Not here for the right reasons, maybe, we don't know. <laughs> okay, so we went around, I think we have some really good contenders. Yeah. We're on our way. I really think we're going to see a Maris student on The Bachelor. Yeah. Maybe being The Bachelor. Maybe being The Bachelor. <laughs> Watch out, everybody. We literally don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for next Monday. Going to tune in. Thank you so much, Jillian, for joining Thank us. Thank you. So exciting. We loved it. And maybe we'll do this again when The Bachelor is on. We'll yeah. head back out there. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.